Hello, writers. How much does this seem like a movie trailer? Today, we propose that a fleshed out story world can reveal a plot for your next novel without needing a complicated plot diagram. By story world, I mean you write a few dozen pages which elaborate key relationships between characters, scenes, places, events, and aspirations. Your story world write-up will suggest a general timeline, the genre, and a dramatic context. This means you're not simply listing scenes and events as in a plot diagram, but using your super smart right brain to deepen the creative vision you already have. Listen to that again. You get to frame your novel in the verbal imagery you love to write with layers of emotion, anticipation, and the five senses. Suppose you visualize a character crossing a street, stepping up on the cracked curbstone, walking along a wilted hedgerow to an old Victorian with peeling paint. Those details help set the stage and drive the plot. We're using an historical event here to illustrate because the facts and details are already available. This event is the 1923 robbery of Train 13 in Tunnel 13 near the summit of Siskiyou Path, just south of Ashland, Oregon. So let's think about how all this literary freight covers that topic. Your story world descriptions will reveal key character relationships, places, events, and scenes, character aspirations, and last but not least, the point you're trying to make. As you develop this story world in your favorite prose style, you'll be able to pull out a list of punch phrases which summarize key facts, turning points, and surprises. Here are a few punch phrases from the Tunnel 13 research. The birth of forensic science. Brothers shoot three rail employees. Creosote on robber's shoes fools bloodhounds. They slip through the dragnet. False rumors of valued cargo. A bad escape plan. Three life sentences. Schizophrenia and a free lobotomy. Parole and death. Passengers escape through the smoke. No gold aboard train 13. A story does not show your audience the real world. It shows the story world. It's your job to first invent and write that world to fit your story vision. If you want to have some more fun, take some of those punch phrases and search the internet for matching images. That will really push you along. Do a job on this and you'll be ready to write your first scene with plenty of sensory detail and story-worthy ammo to keep your readers glued. Thanks for spending some time in the world of Intensely Fictitious. I'm Lee Baldwin, author of Mystery and Speculative Fiction. I hope that in the fullness of time, we will meet again.